Just a small session today, Renato. 10 times 200 plus 10 times 300. We tried to go around 30 seconds, 45 seconds. 29.9. So 10 times 200 with 200 meters recovery. Then 10 times 300 with 100 recovery. Today is Wednesday and uh, Saturday they go for the half marathon in La Maggiore. So just easy session. Keep uh, good leg turnover. So before the session, before the session we we did 40 minutes moderate. Started around four minutes and finished around 310. So Julian, Matthew, Sondra, Boniface. The last 200, Renato. Last 200. Yes. So up in the paradise of Sestriere. This track is at 2,070 meters. So. Now six minutes. After we go for 300, a little bit slow, eh? It's good for uh, breaking up all the moderate and all the medium intensity in the marathon training for Sondre. So hopefully we can start the half marathon around. 310 pace and fin no, I mean around 29 flat for the first 10k 255 and hopefully we can go a little bit faster in the end the race starts at 6 so the temperature will be around 30 degrees so it's very good for the heat heat training preparing Olympics this Wednesday we have a seven and a half week so this is the hotel where we live so you jump from the balcony to the truck and you're good to go six minutes six minutes of jogging six Julian Keep the pace around 45. So 10 more 300s with 100 recovery. Then we're done. Two days of jogging and we go in the half. La Maggiore half. Renato always ringside when it's track or special stuff. Renato have been in the coaching group of uh, Bordin winning the Olympic marathon in 88 in Seoul and Bordin in 2004 winning in Athens. So we believe we have a, a big advantage for the heat and the humidity in Sapporo. Julian will go for the 10k and maybe the 5k. Maintain almost the same time in 200, but every time the recovery becomes faster. At the end, it was 48 seconds. The recovery. Julian and Sondre wants to kill the Kenyans in the recovery. Yeah. We know. What you say? Recovery is getting faster. It's always the same with European guys. <laughs> they go faster in the recovery. It's the mentality of Abbas Kiriwi. Yeah. If you can't go fast in the test, <laughs> yeah, keep the average pace as high as possible. So, recovery because this time is 100 meters, uh, go walking, eh? not jogging. Otherwise, you are in 20 seconds. You start from there. From there, arriving right before. So, Julian have Matthew and Pien Boniface eh? with them to oh, Sestre. Yeah. Julian go 10,000 meter and maybe also go for the five in the Olympics. Since the five is in the end, it's sort of a bonus for him. Renato, what do you think about the future for Julian? When we have the first marathon, you think? What the for Julian? Yeah. You want in this year, in 2021, or do you think we have to wait one more year? 
For what? For the marathon? Yeah, for Julian, having the first no, goal. No, no, no. The idea is to run a marathon not big already at the end of this year. When you say not big, you mean not... So big it means uh, to 10 to 11. So you... big, uh, we, are, we are to 10 to 11, you can be competitive for winning. Yeah. No. So, and you want uh, you want uh, both Sondra and Julian for the world half in China in Mars? Maybe it depends on when we decided to have the Mars. But, this but if we go for Valencia in December, you want uh, world half in Mars? So there is uh, some time, yeah. some time for recovering for doing this. No, but the problem is not when there is the last marathon; it is when there is the next marathon after after world uh, world half. But anyway, Yangzhou is. Uh, a place where it's possible running fast, eh? in China. If we go for World Half in China and we go for London Marathon, we don't have a long preparation, then we can try to go in a bit, uh, yeah, a idea. bit fresh this time. Maybe an idea. We see. To go, go into London if, uh, if everything uh, goes back to the normal calendar. Yeah. We are not sure. But uh, if it's possible to this, okay. You know, how, ma uh, how many years are you with us, Renato? You go seven more years, so we finish in LA. After LA in 2028, we have a meeting. <laughs> but you join us for seven more years? Every year I, I say that I finish. But, uh, no, you never finish. Okay. The passion and the life is at the track, Renato. Okay, we go. Julian, front. So... After uh, Julian had a big sickness in Mars, probably was Corona. Very easy, eh? very easy. He felt very, very bad for two months. This track season started bad for Julian running 7.55 or something for the 3K. It's really slow, but uh, the shape is uh, coming back now and hopefully we can go for finish time in the Olympics and try to be at least some kind of competitive. For me, the 10,000 meter in the Olympic Games this year is probably the hardest one ever. Renato, what kind of situation do you see in the 10K in the... I I what you are you? 45 or 44? What? The time. No, 49. Ah, good. No, no, I want a place for about 13.20, so 48 is a, is, is a 2.40. Okay. For uh, Julian in the Olympics, for the 10,000 meter, it's, in my opinion, is the toughest, uh, the toughest 10,000 meter ever, with really, really good people like Barrega, Kielka, Cheptege. What do you think? What do you think for the 10K this year? You think they will go out really fast? People like Candy? I think. People like Rodnik, Skibruto? To qualify, eh? not so easy. No, no. Relaxed. Good, Julian. I don't know if Candy is able to qualify. Eh? First, I think he, he doesn't have yet the limit. Ah, so he needs to have the Kenyan trials and take the limit. You, did you see Mufara? He was setting up the last event in Manchester. You think he can? You think he can be on the podium in the Olympics? 27, 28 is not so difficult. No, the standard is one thing, but being competitive in the race. But I think that that uh, hey, this one is fast. Six. You think we can see the old Mufara closing in 2:28 and the last lap in 52? Be competitive, uh, especially with uh, Jacob Kiplimo. So, in your opinion, Kiplimo is the favorite. The favorite. Yes. Kiplimo, maybe Kielka and Barrega also. Uh, I think that there can be something uh, Kiplimo Barrega. Yeah. Because they are the two having also the possibility of sprinting at the end. Yep. We see. The future is bright for guys working hard.